In this training, we will cover how to enter an IFSP for a child in EIHUB. When working on an IFSP, users will begin by opening a child's record and navigating to the IFSP tab. In the IFSP tab, a grid will appear displaying any active and inactive IFSPs for the child. If starting a new IFSP, users will select the Add IFSP option. If editing a draft of an IFSP, users will select the Edit option. A new IFSP can also be created based on a previous IFSP using the Copy option. Once an IFSP has been submitted, it cannot be edited. The steps outlined within this course indicate the required fields within each panel and grid that need to be completed prior to submitting an IFSP. Please keep in mind, for each panel completed users must select Submit to save and or submit information entered. Upon clicking the Add or Edit button from the IFSP grid, users transition to the IFSP screen where all IFSP-related panels are housed. We'll walk through each of the panels. The first panel, the IFSP Information Panel. This panel is known as the Parent Panel and is required prior to completing subsequent panels. Ensure to select the IFSP type, for example, an interim, initial, or amended IFSP status, IFSP start date, and end date and method by which the IFSP is conducted. If a new IFSP is requested, that information should be entered in addition to noting if the IFSP is conducted in the parent or caregiver's primary language. Please note, IFSVP start and end dates are not auto-calculated. The IFSP team screen populates, allowing users to add IFSP participant names, participant roles, participant phone numbers, and participant emails. Please note, the FRC and the child's primary contact must be added as members of the IFSP team. The Confirmation IFSP Schedule panel allows users to enter IFSP schedule information and confirm the information entered. The IFSP Meetings appears as a grid. To add a new meeting, select the Add IFSP Meeting option. From here, enter the IFSP meeting date and meeting time. Just a note, both the IFSP Information Panel and IFSP Team Panel must be complete prior to entering users into this panel. The Level of Development appears as a grid. To add information, select the Add IFSP Level of Development option and proceed to the Enter the Domain category, Results, Strengths, and Needs. The Category field provides a drop-down menu with the five developmental domains. While the system requires at least one domain be completed in order to save the IFSP, it is recommended that all five developmental domains are added. The Family Strengths, Priorities, Concerns, Resources panel allows users to enter a family's concerns, priorities, and resources that emerge through discussions with the family. Parental consent must be given to complete this section. Most of the remaining fields within this panel are designed for free text. Users will type responses from the family in the appropriate fields. The first step to obtaining transportation or respite for a child in EI Hub is to complete the reasons and indicators for respite and or transportation panel. The need for transportation or respite is typically discussed with the family during the IFSP meeting. This panel requires completion because it documents the need for the transportation or respite. This is a multi-purpose panel allowing users to address the need for respite and transportation, for which users would answer yes or no. 
If yes is selected, additional fields populate for completion. If no is selected, the fields will not populate. Ongoing evaluations occur post IFSP and are attached to an active IFSP. The IFSP ongoing evaluations panel houses all of a child's ongoing evaluation in a grid format. Grid columns display with information such as the IFSP status, IFSP start date, IFSP end date. To enter an ongoing evaluation, Select the Add IFSP Ongoing Evaluations button to enter a new ongoing evaluation. Select the Add IFSP Ongoing Evaluations button to enter a new ongoing evaluation. There is also the option to Edit or View an ongoing evaluation by selecting the Edit or View button. For training purposes, we'll add a new evaluation. Upon selecting the Add Ongoing Evaluation button, the evaluation screen populates, allowing users to add evaluation assignments and evaluation, screening, and supplemental evaluation results. The IFSP outcomes appear as a grid. To add a new outcome, select the Add IFSP Outcome Detail button. Proceed to enter the outcome start date, outcome desired, strategies, activities, and indicate if there are any modifications to this specific outcome. The next panel is the IFSP Services panel. IFSP services are housed within a grid and captures all services attached to a child's IFSP. In addition to the IFSP Services panels, there is also the Services tab. The Services tab provides a complete overview of all services provided to a child throughout their involvement in the Early Intervention Program. This tab is primarily used by providers to make changes to therapist assignments. The IFSP Services panels, as seen previously, should be utilized to enter any services associated with an IFSP. Now, we'll return to the IFSP Services panel. To add a new service, select the Add Service Information option. There is also the option to edit and view services once services are entered and submitted. When adding a new service, the following five panels require completion before the services can be submitted and made active. The service information, service delivery, service location, company assignment, and therapist assignment panels. Start with the Service Information panel. The Service Information panel is a parent panel and completion of this panel is required prior to subsequent panels. The pay source pre-populates with the name of the funding source. The term program refers to the service type and method. We do understand that Washington ESIT collects funding sources by service. There are two options for pay sources. Washington DC IHIF, which is used for all general services, and IDEA Part C, which is used for service coordination. Select any of the four program options available. General Evaluations, Individual, General Evaluations, Group, General Services, Individual, and General Services, Group. Lastly, select a service type. The enrollment status is a non-editable field. The enrollment status changes once the agency is assigned. Click the Submit button to save the information entered upon completion. For the Service Delivery panel, please complete the following required fields. Begin by entering the start and end dates for the service. The Frequency field allows users to enter the number of times the service is to be delivered per frequency unit. The Frequency unit allows users to choose the frequency of services and whether services will be rendered per day, week, month, or IFSP period. The length captures the duration of the service in minutes. Users may choose to enter any additional information they feel applicable. Upon completing this panel, select the Submit button to save the entry. To assign a company to provide services, click the Company Assignment panel. Begin typing the company name within the company name field. Multiple values may populate. Select the appropriate value. The service site may also populate. Click the Submit button to save the company populated. 
Select the Service Location panel. Select the Location Type from the Location Type dropdown. If there is an address associated with the Location Type, the address information will auto-populate in the subsequent address fields. For example, the street number, city, state, and zip. Proceed to select whether the child is being served in a natural environment. Upon completion, click the Submit button to save the information entered. Now that a service has been created and company assigned, the agency will want to assign a therapist from their staff. To assign a therapist, select the Therapist Assignment panel. The Therapist Assignment panel displays as a grid, similar to other panels we've reviewed. This panel houses all therapists assigned to the child. There will be an Add Therapist Assignment button located on the Therapist Assignment grid. This panel allows users to select a subcontracted agency. Agencies should only select a subcontracted agency if the company assigned has entered a contractual relationship with another agency to supply therapists. Users will also select a therapist and enter the dates the therapist is expected to render services. Once information in this panel is entered and submitted, the therapist assignment routes to the Select Therapist Children assigned to Caseload dashboard. Under IFSP services, there are additional panels and grids that should be completed if applicable to the child. These panels are assistive technology, waivers, respite, and the service delay reason. Under IFSP services, there are additional panels and grids that should be completed if applicable to the child. These panels are assistive technology, waivers, respite, and the service delay reason. If the child receives other services or relies on resources from external services, that information is entered into the Other Services and Resources where family is participating panel. Enter the type of additional external medical services or resources being received by the child along with the service or program, provider, contact information, funding sources, or steps taken to secure the services. After all information is entered, select the Submit button. The next panel for completion is the IFSP Transition Panel. A child's transition is typically discussed at every IFSP meeting. When the transition is discussed, a synopsis of that discussion is entered here. Any notes regarding the IFSP review can be entered into the IFSP Review Panel. The IFSP Review Panel is a grid and serves as repository for IFSP review notes. The finalization of any IFSP requires parent signatures and consent. The parent signatures indicate that the parent has, one, participated in the development of the IFSP and two, agrees with the IFSP and the accompanying services. The IFSP Parent Agreement Panel also documents if parents do not agree to the IFSP as currently written. The screen also allows signature pages to be uploaded and the IFSP document to be generated. The Active IFSP Services Panel appears as a grid and, similar to the Services Panel, serves as a repository for all active IFSP services for the child. The Generate IFSP Document Panel allows parents to sign the IFSP directly via EIHUB. The Present Level of Development Panels documents the child's present level of development based on evaluation results assessing the five domains and the child's current family situation and health circumstances. Information entered includes child and family strengths, concerns and needs related to the child's development, medical diagnosis, and evaluation results per each of the five domains. This concludes our presentation on entering IFSP and services into EI Hub. Thank you for joining us.